Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The new Air Force One will be a 747-8. A homebuilt airplane flies to Haiti with love. And Cessna rolls out the first production Citation Latitude. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. It's not unexpected that the Air Force has determined the Boeing 747-8 will serve as the next presidential aircraft, commonly known as Air Force One. Analysis of the capability requirements conclude a four-engine wide-body aircraft is required to meet the needs of the Air Force One mission. Market research determined that there are two four-engine platforms that could meet the requirements. The 747-8 manufactured by Boeing in the state of Washington and the A380 manufactured by Airbus in Toulouse, France. The decision, made official through a determinations and findings document, authorizes the commercial aircraft purchase by other than full and open competition. Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James said in part, quote, the current fleet of VC-25 presidential aircraft have performed exceptionally well, a testament to the airmen who support, maintain, and fly the aircraft. Yet it is time to upgrade." End quote. The good folks of Zenith Aircraft sent us a story that shows us the best in general aviation, and we wanted to share it. Jeff and Carol Badgero are missionaries with Hope Missions, who've been working in the country of Haiti over the past 30 years. They teach the people how to improve their lives, drill water wells, and develop fish ponds. They saw the need for a light aircraft with great STOL capabilities to fly medicine and medical personnel in mountainous areas where there are no clinics and no other access. Two years ago, builders Tom and Lori Moore donated a STOL CH-701 to Hope Missions, and that set a plan in motion. Badgero trained himself on the Little Zenith and flew it from Fort Pierce, Florida on January 17th to Haiti. The trip required careful planning, and it was quite an undertaking in a light airplane like the Zenith 701. The trip was successful, and Badgero said the long-term plan is to teach the locals to fly the 701 and give them the airplane. After the break, Cessna rolls out the first production Citation Latitude. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Last Thursday, Cessna celebrated the rollout of the first production Citation Latitude at the company's Wichita, Kansas manufacturing facility. The assembly of the Latitude features a variety of technological advancements, including the use of new automated robotics and ergonomically friendly tooling stations. The event is the latest in the aircraft's progression towards type certification by the FAA, which is expected in the second quarter of this year. The Citation Latitude certification program, which includes four flying aircraft, has accumulated 500 flights and 1,200 hours to date. The first fully configured aircraft made its public debut at last fall's MBAA convention and exhibition in Orlando, Florida, and has since been touring the country for customer demonstration flights. Each week, we share with you a sample of an online video one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off and left. 
For a military fighter to show off by breaking the speed of sound while flying over land is highly frowned upon. However, when the Navy is at sea, there's nothing holding a Navy pilot back. Search FA-18C breaks the speed of sound on YouTube. After these messages, the disappearance of Malaysian flight MH370 is declared an accident. Sandia introduces the new SAI-340 Quattro standby instrument. TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. Well, with so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. According to Malaysian government officials, the mysterious disappearance of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 has been officially declared an accident. They say that based on the analysis of all available evidence, this was their conclusion. Airplanes require maintenance, and so do robotic drones. Robotic Skies has completed its first repair of a commercial drone and returned it to operational service. The maintenance was performed at King Avionics in Henderson, Nevada. Trig Avionics Limited has opened a new custom-built facility at the Harriet Watt Research Park in Edinburgh, Scotland. This will accommodate a growing team under one roof. The new facility supports an engineering laboratory and various test and manufacturing functions. The Fantasy of Flight Museum has announced the opening of what they called a scaled-down museum. The museum will be open seasonally and it features a large collection of aircraft and it's continuing to offer biplane flights at Walder Wright's Flying Service. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. The Office of Management and Budget has posted an update regarding the status of a proposed MPRM for the flight of unmanned aircraft in the National Airspace System. And everyone with an 8-inch toy helicopter needs to take note. According to the OMB, quote, the MPRM also proposes regulations for all SUAS, including operating standards for model aircraft and low performance operations to increase the safety and efficiency of the NAS, end quote. Without a clear definition of the term low performance, this could include models and even hobby aircraft. The report also said this proposed rule would result in the regular collection of safety data from the user community and help the FAA develop new regulations and expand SUAS access to the national airspace. The MPRM is continuing to grind its way through the regulatory process and cannot be published until the White House review is complete. Don't expect to see the final MPRM for quite a while, but we're not optimistic that what comes out of this will be remotely workable. Well, that's our program for Monday, February 2nd. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. 
Remember, Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday. And sometimes we'll have additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.